Rotors. Sexy rotors. Okay, I bet you thought I'd forgotten. Show the seal going in. So, geez, you might be in my road. So I'm gonna put the seal in. Stop worrying. Okay, anyway, that's done. Hi all. I'm just having a look at this. This is the XT I've, Ute I've got here. And um, I was just, for goodness, got, with the XT, I don't know if it's normal or it's thing. They've, they've put a seal in here. Great idea, actually, with a bit of, um, you know, silicon. And um, instead of it being a needle roller bearing, it's a ball bearing, so I don't know. And that plate there that holds it, the axle on, that's like quarter inch. I'm sure the other one wasn't on my ute, wasn't that. So I'd be curious to know if anybody has come across that before and um, why it's, it's so different in design. So let me know if, if you know. Okay, I'm a bit pooped, I've been running around. And you also see that that's like about, uh, you can't focus on it now. That's nowhere near quarter of an inch, it's more like, you know, that much. Three, four mil, that's thing anyway, I was just checking. It's a 44, 40, nearly 45 mil. No use taking one of these off if it's not the right size. 40 mil, it isn't the right size, that sucks. So all that trying to take that off and the stud's a bit short, that sucks. Yeah, anyway, we gotta think that plate is there. I bet it's quarter of an inch. Yep, six mil, oh, seven mil's even better than quarter of an inch, six mil's quarter in it. Hmm. Anyway, very different, very annoying. Don't know why they'd use such short studs. They might have been replaced in the past. Anyway, afternoon all, or morning. Still morning, actually. Um, just decided to put the pinion seal in. But more than that, there's a little three-way adapter here for the brake line that should be here, and for the life of me, I can't find it. So I'm going to go pull it off the XW out there, the same one. And, uh, and also get the brake lines so I can make up the new brake lines at the same time. So that's all done. So I know you guys are a bit sick of diff stuff, but I, then I have to do the brakes. And then after that, we should be honky-dory. <laughs> okay, so there's your little three-way adapter. So it's got the flexi line going in. And the, um, so that's what it looks like anyway. So I can't find my other one of them. So it'll turn up eventually. So I've just got to undo these. What do you call them? I'd call them brake pipes. Oops. So this is all new to me to do this because I can't find my little tripod. So with a bit of luck. Well, that was easy. That was phenomenally easy. Look at that. Just like a bought one. So now we're going to do this one. Now I don't think I need to Let's undo those lines. What I need to do is just on a wheel. So let's crack on these while we're here. Oh, no, no, I'm not doing that. So if I recall, that's 9 sixteenths. That one. I'm going to undo them in the vise because you can't get the pipe smear underneath it. It does have a big crazy spring washer on it. So that's that done. And I want to undo this flexi line bit from the other end, from up here, from there. You'd wonder why. Okay, so 
breaking so I can show you. There I am. There. So I got that off without breaking it, which is nice. This pipe has had it. I can't even find the end of it. There it is. So I'm going to try and get that line replaced. Oh, look at that. Love it. So I'm going to go and do that one in a second. I'll be back. Okay. Keep turning my own phone off, of course. Oh. I think I got it. One more for good luck. It's actually a pretty average design, really. No clip, no nothing under there to keep it safe. Just bend it over and hope for the best. There we go. This thing is now a passenger on this car. Let's take it out. Oh, I'll be back. <coughs> oh, nuts. Oh, that's out of paddock fuel tank. Oh, Gabby line. I'll be back. This is my XW sedan. Um, it is on my channel. Some of you newer guys may not have had a chance to have a look. And um, it's got a rusted out um, chassis rails, which bothered me. I've got the new back quarters. I've got all the new um, panels everywhere. What do you call that? Beaver panel. Um, I haven't got a fuel tank yet. I've got all of, all the, all of, all of that. And it's all ready to put together which is not really the fun bit, but I don't have the chassis rail, even a template to make it. So if any of you guys there have got a XW, XY um, chassis rail, even a template, and certainly if you had the real rail, oh, man, that'd be gold to me. I'd, uh, you know, I'd definitely send you a cup of tea and a biscuit. And, um, so anyway, so you get the, the, the idea. That's on both sides too. And it's like the first, what is that, 600 millimetres from there to there. And, um, so, yeah. So if anybody's got anything, I'd be really appreciative. And then I could get on to this car too. And um, just the welding, it'd come and Josh would come and he's on the weekends and we'd do welding or something. Make for a fun series too. Anyway, cheerio. Okay, so we've got the brake line out of the the XW, and um, now you'll notice I've got the exact shape, unmolested, um, other than the fact that it's uh, probably a good 52 years old, or whatever it is now, and um, now I can make up a new one. So, pretty sure I've got most of those fittings already somewhere. So I'll probably leave this intact. Geez, you wouldn't want to use that, would you? show you so that's it there double flange it's ready to go and um just got to do the other side there and that's one piece done and it's time consuming because i've been at it for ages so um yeah but it's worth it i mean that's all i can say is once it's on it's on you don't have to do it again you don't have to do it once and, um, unless you're going to keep the car for another 50 years perhaps then it's worth it Anyway, I'm not going to, I'm going to, I'll bring it back from time to time and just show you how it's going. And I'm annoyed because that's the only, um, focus, that's the only zinced one of these I can find. I thought I had a whole set and I can't find them. So I've got a feeling that the zinc guy lost them. And I didn't notice until just now, and, um, which is really disappointing. And, um, because I know I had a whole lot of them in there and I got, one and another one and a break bleeding nipple so it's, that was it i'm struggling here because i need new brake fittings i'm not gonna i don't want to use these old ones i want new ones so my mate from ballina bearings he um he reckons that the new the trailer trailer ones i think so i've ordered some trailer ones He's going to, he's got me some new ones coming, so he'll give us a ring in a day or so. So I'll get back to that. Meanwhile, I'll bend up 
or this pipe here so it's the right shape which is pretty well easier said than done I almost feel like I should bend it on the banjo I'll think that one over So I just bent this up. So on a scale of one to 10, it's probably an eight. It'll be pretty good. And um, it follows the contours and lefts and rights. And I'll tweak it on the diff, of course. And I'm just got to wait for the fittings now to come. So I'm pleased. And the reason I didn't I want to destroy, I don't want to destroy these, this one and this one here, because I want to keep the templates. So they're pretty good templates and um, I need a bunch of them. So I should sit here and make heaps of them, but I don't, I don't know, it's time consuming. Here it is, so that goes into there like that, that goes like that, and all that to side is probably pretty close. It's very, very close in fact. And um, it's a little bit tweaking up there like that. That's actually pretty good. Don't need cutting, I haven't cut that to length yet. So that's pretty good. I'll probably stay with that. And that's your new brake line. I'll totally take out that bend there. Don't think it's meant to be up. So that's about it. So anyway, uh, when I get my brake fittings from Ballina Bearings, who, um, they're bloody good fellas there, so if any of you local guys want a good place to buy parts from, Ballina Bearings is the go. Since I'm waiting for parts, I thought I'd have a quick squeeze at the front hubs, discs, whatever you want to call them, calibers, and um, calibers, and everything else. And uh, you order some new flexi lines, they're all cactus, if not cactus, completely cactus actually. Uh, they're old and, old and brittle so and yes i still haven't done that pinion seal yet i'm slack and so i'll get on with that soon and um you can come along for the ride so we'll reco them all up ready to go in the car as you know i'm trying to get it back on its feet so All right, uh, we're talking about rotors and their minimum and maximum thickness or maximum means what they were are from new and minimum means what they have to be less than if you need to replace them. And um, so these are a Ford XY rotor and um, the minimum thickness is 22.2 millimeters. You got to change them and the maximum or what they are from standard is 24 millimeters, give or take, or 90.4 thou, 0.94 thou, yeah. So, and these ones have measured up, I've written it down on the road here, I'll show you in a second. These ones are 23.5, so they're quite serviceable, completely within specs. So, and they're not, I haven't checked the run out, I just assume they're not warped. So I'll probably check the run out eventually, and that's the specifications. 24 is good, well that's new. Uh, anything above this is serviceable. And that's really that simple, and that's what my discs are. So yeah, they've got, man, I'll never wear these out. They'll last for the amount of Ks that'll do. That's, it'd take 100,000 kilometers to wear these out, or about, or even probably more. So anyway, anything else? I think that's about it. Questions? Anybody got questions? No? Well, then, bug it. <laughs> Go away. Quick look at some of the hardware that I've just been pulling out, ready to clean and paint. I'll do it all anyway. That's out of a nine inch. Don't know what they're out of, whether they belong out of 
this. The original ones of these are in the XW. I have to swap them out again. So I've got the original that come with my ute. So I'll give it a sandblast. I've been sort of cleaning this stuff up here. And that's about it. So I'll bring it back when something gets more interesting. I haven't been filming much, so I just thought I'd show you what's going on. Earplugs, they're the best for blocking half holes. I'm going to sandblast them, sandblast them. I didn't want to sandblast that, and also I'm going to paint it, so I don't want any paint on that part of the thing. I think these weren't painted from factory, but I'm going to paint them. I can't stand them going rusty. Now, these can come with me. They've got to be sandblasted sooner than later. If you own one of these, don't ever let the tips get big. They wear out really quickly. They're cheap to buy, and it just saves... You don't need as much air, and... Um, it just works better because if you um, if you want to do a larger spread, you just move back a bit further. But it's, it's, it's you know it's like tightening up the old garden hose. Same principle. So that's still getting it. I'm not finished there. No, they're finished. I can take them out of there. So now you've got to watch it up. They don't get because very muggy here at the moment. I've got to make sure they don't get um, rusty. So I'll leave them in a very dry environment in here. So I'll just keep going with all of this stuff. They're done as well, they're the back spring shackle hangers. Well, thought I'd bring you up to date with my sandblasting. I've sandblasted all this stuff. And um, all of that, all of that, not that, that, the two packing plates. I can't, when you get the problem on, on them now, and so there we go with that. I need to think then. So anyway, that's taken me a while. So you can watch me paint it. Why not? I'm going to just put you on time lapse. That's all. Okay, a day of sandblasting and painting. Well, the painting was nothing, but the sandblasting was sure time consuming. So they're all sandblasted and etch primed. So it's pretty good. They come up pretty nice. Um, not perfect because I was impatient. But they work nicely. That doesn't belong to this car. Those two good ones belong to this. Anyway, so that's about it. So. Um, got to pull the calipers apart. I haven't painted these because I'm not going to paint them. If I do, it certainly won't be in black. And, um, maybe I'll get a caliper silver or something like that. So it looks like a brand new grey caliper, high temperature grey or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I got to pull them apart. See if I can get some um, PBR um, kits for them. They should be all right, hopefully. And, um, they come up pretty good, really. I found out something quite interesting. If, when you're uh, sandblasting that, um, it must be the chrome or the nickel in it, because I um, don't know if it's chrome or nickel or both. Gee, it, it um, comes up like a lightning storm. It looks really cool. So, not that I hit them much. In fact, that's why they're still rust on the inside. I didn't like the idea of taking off the nickel, so I didn't do it. But it was interesting what was happening. Anyway, cheerio.